version of the ALX tool. The slides are available and I will focus on the demo. ALX is an Excel sheet with Visual Basic Code. It's a tool for loading data into Siebel via a simple click on a button. Data like views, responsibility and many more. The prerequisites are a Windows system where a Siebel dedicated client and Excel is installed. It is used for import, export and deleting of data from a Siebel application. Reset environment specific data, reload test data, compare environments and roll back a deployment. 71 predefined entities are delivered by default. Developers load and test the sheet in their own environment and prepare the release. The other environments use this sheet to deploy the release. The keywords that highlight the advantage of the ALX tool are time saved, consistently, quality, logging and simple. No more questions like, did I miss one of the 50 workflows that I had to activate? The demo will cover export, import and delete. It will show the deployment of a small release with views and responsibilities. I have prepared an Excel sheet with the test objects for insert and delete to avoid typing errors. The demo environment is a virtual machine with Windows, Excel and Siebel 8.2, running on a ThinkPad T420 with 4 go cores and 8 GB of RAM. I will now show, switch to the public sector object manager and show the current values of views and responsibilities. You can see there are no views with a name that start with test. And there's only one responsibility, test Siebel Administrator, but that's out of the box. I will now start the ALX tool and test my connection. The tool asks me for a password and the visibility drop box let me filter the entities that I can see. The demo option shows only the tabs that I need. All other tabs are grayed out. On the index tab in column A you see 71 hyperlinks to the tabs. In column C you see the navigation path in the GUI. I always use the license key tab and the export button to test the connection. At the first connection it asks me for an environment configuration that I can load from a file. The password is not saved in the file so you have to type that. In the left corner you can see that the connection is initiated and it will connect to the Siebel data so server data source as found in the public sector file. The first connection will take some time. It will show me the license key and the name of a log file. The log file will be created in ctemp alx underscore log as I have defined in the loaded configuration file. There is my output in the log file. The log file shows the detail what is loaded. Six items exported and written into the sheet license keys with the date and timestamp. The deployment of this release contains 
views, responsibility, and the link between responsibility and views. On the three tabs, you can see the test objects that will be created. After three clicks of the import button, my small deployment is done. The log files are created and can be used for auditing. I'll now switch to the GUI and show you the created objects. The two test views responsibilities are shown. And also the three views and their correspondent responsibility are shown in this applet. You can also delete data from Siebel using the ALX tool. But before you can delete data, you must perform three actions to enable the delete. Unprotect the sheet, add a D to column 7, and change insert into delete. This is to prevent accidental deleting of data. The three delete tabs are prepared so that the delete is possible. The tabs are colored green, meaning OK, no errors reported by Siebel or the tool. The three clicks on the input button will delete the test objects and the rollback is done. Siebel performs a cascading delete, the sum of the actions take more time to finish. The log files show the detailed information about the delete action. The Windows environment variable, Siebel underscore log underscore events, can also be set to see more detail on the SQL level that goes to the database. You look at the log files, you can show it updates the parent record and it removes the child record. And that's for all records that were in the sheet. This delete is also done, and the last part is deleting the views. This is also done. Going back to the GUI, let's show you that items are deleted. There are no test views. And there's only one standard responsibility test Siebel administrator. This is the end of the demo. I could not show all the features of the tool, but more features are described in the slides and in the manual. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. The email addresses are on the first slide. Thank you for watching the demo.